Hey guys, welcome to my very first Kevalicious Game Reviews and Reactions. This is actually my first video that I'm making, so bear with me while I work on everything, but thank you so much for joining me. And um, I am, I have a lot of reactions and I have a lot of opinions, and I don't mean any offense with anything I'm going to say, but if you want to have a discussion about it, please post below in the comment section on YouTube. Or, you know, make a like, subscribe, I don't mind, please join. Um, I'm very excited, this is my first video. I'm actually doing it on World of Warcraft, is the game that I'm first doing my video on. And this one's actually not a game review, but more my opinion and my reaction to a video I saw about World of Warcraft and the newest expansion called Shadowlands. Um, I watched the video and I was very... <sighs> conflicted with the opinions that this person was saying and the person that you're seeing is right now on my uh video and i kind of forgot his name but don't hate me for that the person that was doing this was tips out so he was the one that made this video and you know i like a lot of his videos i'm just i i felt very frustrated and i needed to make a video about my opinions and my reactions to what he was saying on the video because i'm a huge world of warcraft classic fan and i like wow in general but there were a lot of things he was saying that i just completely disagreed with or i just felt that i need to also make a video on his 10 reasons why wow classic people like me and players should be excited for shadowlands so with further ado let's go ahead and watch his video and um, I will stop it and kind of just give my opinion on everything he just said. So let's go ahead and begin. Doesn't matter because we're filming another video. Hey, what's up guys, it's Tips. And it is currently 5.45 a.m. in the morning. As much as I'd like to admit that I'm up bright. I'm just gonna stop you there. Um, his first part of the video is literally like 10 minutes long of him just talking. So let's just skip on ahead to the six minute mark of what he said is when the video actually begins. So I'm a little frustrated with that part right off the bat. Sorry, Tips. But again, this is more about the tips you were saying, or 10 reasons, not really your video editing skills, but still the, ten, the six minute mark was, oh, I could not stand that. Anyway, let's begin. Your first reason. Shadowlands could be the expansion to pull classic players like you, classic players like me, back into the game. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk like about that. why my top 10 reasons why I as a classic player Let's am excited for Let's give you the top 10 reasons, let's go, girl. And we're gonna start off with number 10, a new redefined leveling experience. So as a classic WoW oh, player, yeah. as a classic WoW fan, um, and even before classic WoW, I I'm just gonna pause it there. And I'm just gonna like, if you wanna watch the video, go watch it. I'll just give you my perception of what he said. Ten number 10 is a new leveling experience. What he means by that is that they're going to be reducing the amount of levels in World of Warcraft Shadowlands to from like, I think one to 65. So you're gonna start at 52 if you are an in-game player currently in World of Warcraft retail. That sounds really cool, but at the same time, my whole problem with this and the whole problem with World of Warcraft and retail period is that they've created so much content, the leveling change won't change that. It's the land they've created. It's the physical space that you can walk in. As a classic player myself, I love the immersion and feeling that I'm interacting with other players. I don't think a leveling squish and making it all unique to 1 to 65 is going to fix that problem because they have Outlands, Northerns, they got the Panda area, they got like different places ever. They got the islands in the middle now. I mean, the big thing about Classic that made it classic was that there wasn't so many places people could go to to kind of disperse the population. So my issue is that he thinks um, that the squish is going to make and feel like that immersion of when we were leveling before. I'm going to challenge that and say, no, it's not going to. The problem here is not so much the leveling and the numbers of the levels. It's the fundamental experience of the game. So my problem is that they should have, and the way they can fix it, and honestly for the future, they can't fix it now, but what they could do is stop making expansions and just make new games of, the, of World of Warcraft. So instead of making an expansion, they could just stop the game and remake a new game with new features, new looks, new everything, but you know, still have that feel of old school retail or a classic and then just implement it with something new so that the new lands and new everything could 
still be implemented with everything else. I just don't think adding all these different new lands that the in-game players only need to be in is going to fix the overall issues because adding these new Shadowland like leveling areas is going to pigeonhole all the new like all the old players into that area. So the low levels are never really going to experience any of that stuff. And that's one of the things I like I extremely miss from classic and retail is the fact that I get to run in 60s all the time. I mean there's a whole reason to level again because it's difficult like Okay, so you got the deal. Number 10, I don't really agree with. We'll go ahead and skip ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and find it in the video. And number nine. So let's go ahead and do a quick, I'll show you what he says. Experience, including what appears to be a new tutorial island of sorts. Um, I'm excited to see how it plays out, especially with the level Okay, squish, he keeps talking about which we'll the level talk about He's really excited about a little bit. Moving on to reason number nine as to why I'm excited for Shadowlands. Okay. A reason that would be a lot higher up on this list if we had some substance to back it up. And that was Ian Azucostas' quote on Classic good... WoW okay. and what the Hold Blizzard on. team can learn from Classic success. I'm just going to go ahead and play it here for you guys so you can see what Ian said. Um... In, in order to uh, kind of tear down the wall between the two communities, so to speak. I'm curious if the relative uh, pretty high success of the classic launch, and obviously there's some talks of BC loosely, um, but the, the, some of the more successful things in classic, did you guys take any note from the successes of that classic? This is really important. So listen up to what they say. Forward into Shadowlands or perhaps even further for retails ahead? Uh, target caps on AOE, clearly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are the stream um, shutting down? <laughs> no, uh, I, mean, I think one of the biggest takeaways is the social aspect, right? We're not going to lift some specific system from Classic, but I think one of the things we ask ourselves on a regular basis is you know, how, what can we do to make WoW a place with stronger community, a place where you can make friends? Good ideas. The way that people commonly did and the way they still are today in Classic. You know, I think cross-server gameplay and the pre-made group finder and all of those things have increased accessibility <laughs> and made it easier than ever before to find people to do content with. But the biggest inspiration and reminder, I think, is a challenge to us to try to return to the social roots and that potential of work. So there it is, from the mouth of the man okay. himself, according to Ian Hazakostas, he... So he literally explains it, that they give their opinion on the social system, bringing it back to the roots, but there's no defined reason or explanation for it. And he even says it, Tips even said it out loud. So like, again, number nine is another reason why I'm disappointed of retail and why they should stop, because... If their social system, they know that it's broken and they have no idea how to fix it. Um, to me, it just makes me feel like, okay, this is just going to be another retail. It's going to be another like looking for group system. It's going to be super easy to get around everywhere, teleporting everywhere, um, leveling up and like be mindless drones playing through the content is not something I see it changing in retail, especially in Shadowlands. So my biggest takeaway is that they get said nothing specifically. Um, all this is just hopes and dreams and it just pure like nostalgia excitement for what they want in the game. I think it's good. Okay, don't get me wrong. I think it's great that the Blizzard team realizes it. I just don't think and clearly from the short clips that we've been watching is that they have no idea. So number nine of what Tips Out is saying is moot. It's nothing that like it's not there's no point. There's no answer to it. And it doesn't seem like they have any idea blizzard specifically of how to fix it and honestly they should hire me because i'll fix it for them but anyway we'll skip ahead and let's keep going um let's go ahead and find number eight all right i'm not even gonna play this this is literally level 60 squish was the exact same not as number 10 Th this really ticked me off when i was watching the video because i'm like why are you repeating the numbers? Okay, so again, like I said before, the 60 squish is the same thing as a leveling experience. It's reducing the levels to hope that the experience of leveling would be better. In my opinion, you can go back and see in the video of what I felt like. I don't think it's going to fix the underlining issues. A level squish will not fix the fundamental problems of what WoW retail is. WoW Classic is all about the experiencing of the physical content in the game. Before in number 10, 
he was talking about just the experience of leveling. He thinks that the things they're going to be implementing in Shadowlands is going to fix a lot of those problems. Where And then the level squish is just on top of that. And he says it in the video if you want to go watch it. But it's just not going to happen. Um, I just don't think it's something that's really going to fix the fundamental issues. So I'm going to skip ahead. I didn't really finish the whole video. I think I like kind of did this as well because I was just kind of so frustrated. Okay, profession changes. I mean, honestly, I can just go through the whole video. Basically... We'll watch. Chest, cloak, and gloves. These are enchants that were removed from the game uh, for a long time, and they're finally coming back again, sort of how... I agree with him here. I'm excited that they're doing that kind of stuff because they did remove, and I agree with Tips Out, honestly, on this point, that removing a lot of the kind of flair and uniqueness of the professions being removed from the game was a really bad decision on Blizzard's part. So I think Shadowlands is doing a good job on professions in and kind of bring it back towards old school classic where, you know, engineers can make salt shakers for the leather workers who can make double sword armor that's best in gear slot for a lot of classes like um, barrel druids, uh, rogues, and other classes. So I think things like that is really lacking in retail and Shadowlands kind of bringing that back sounds like a cool idea. So I do like the changes. I think that was a pretty good one. Tier sets, I could give a... I couldn't care, honestly. He's talking about here in the video about tier sets and so excited for it. I think it's cool. I mean, they've always had tier sets, I think, in Classic, but they weren't really tier sets. I guess they were. I don't really understand, honestly, all the tier sets and removal of it. To be honest, this doesn't really... I don't really care too much. I didn't like legendaries. I don't like anything about the new items that they've added when it comes to that is not a drop or a quest reward. All these new like fundamental like, hey, main storyline quest, you get a necklace and work on it. I don't care for that stuff. So if the tier sets is going more towards removal of that stuff, that's cool. But I hear that they're not doing that. I think they're still going to have a legendary. I get that people like legendaries and that's cool. It's just not for me. Okay, we're going to move on. Um, watching this whole video, it's a really long time. I kind of just got bored, so I just want to skip on through it some more. Um, let's gear blow. I, let's watch it. I don't even remember what this one's about, so let's go. The type of guy that scours. Oh, yeah, when let's go ahead. Okay. You're very, very close to the community. Uh, I can totally see him as the type of guy that scours the forums, scours the Reddits, watches YouTube videos potentially. Ian, don't forget to enter the giveaway here. Let's see your favorite cereal, of course. Um, but he definitely strikes me as the kind of guy that really, really listens to the community, not just when it comes to basic feature requests and bug fixes, but also some of the community's core grievances. And one of the most that core in grievances the past. that a lot of I mean, old great. school World of Warcraft players have had about the game for a number of years is the fact that we get so much loot. Loot is thrown at you from every which way. It's very, very annoying, but more importantly, it devalues mm. each individual item. I agree the with more loot statement. that's thrown at your face, the less valuable each loot piece is to the point where you start to- Okay, so this is my opinion on it. Um, I agree with the statement as well. I think in retail, um, when they started making gear so easy and blues weren't as important anymore, it was when it was starting to kill classic. I feel like when it comes to gear, it shouldn't be so much as well. I think that's a really smart move. I think less gear blow is a great idea. I think implementing that is awesome. Um, however, I doubt they're gonna to do to the level of classic and classic was tough. Classic is tough. You don't get gear easily. I mean, I was wearing my level 18 Westfall blue gear that I got from Dead Mines for my rogue all the way up to like 48, level 48. And I finally got a green that was better than the blue. That level of gear importance is just not existent in retail anymore and i just don't see them doing it to the extent of classic where i really enjoy it where i felt like when i got a blue item lord if i get a purple item i was like oh my god i don't think that's gonna happen like i just i don't again another reason to be kind of disappointed in retail and don't have such high hopes for it i'm just trying to like settle you guys in and put my opinion on it is that it's just it's not going to change enough for me personally I need more of that classic feel of like, oh my God, I got a blue. Wah! And I just don't see it happening. I get tips out. You're excited, honey. I get it. But mm, I just... Mm. To forget. So let's keep going. I just... Was going uh, he talks a lot. that's something that I know a lot of PVPers okay, are Okay, gear vendors. Over. Okay, I did watch this part. 
I love PvP. I'm a huge PvP fan. The PvP gear fenders coming back, yes, that's great. I never liked that they removed it in the first place and putting it into the loot uh, RNG roles. Um, I thought it was a decent idea, but at least with PvP gear vendors, we can feel like we're achieving something. I'm not going to lie, on Classic, one thing I definitely feel like I wish would change is feeling that you ha will never be able to achieve rank 14. Um, however, at the same time, it feels kind of good to you know, be a person in the game to be able to reach that rank. And it does um, reduce over time, which is great. But, you know, at the same time, it feels like, okay, I have to raid to get good gear then. Because I'm most likely not going to put the hours and time into getting to rank 14 in WoW Classic to get the best gear for PvP. So I have to go to PvE to get them. And it's much easier and much feasible to actually get good gear, in-game gear, by doing PvE content. Which, to me, kind of feels like, ugh, I wish I could be more focused on PvP to get the top tier stuff that I need to get like the rest of the people in the game so that's one thing I I for classic could definitely change but I get that people always want classic and have it the way it is so that's why I'm hoping that there's an MMO out there hello crossfall or something else like it will satisfy some of that more pvp needs that I have in MMORPGs but we'll see um I think this is a great point and we're gonna go ahead we're they're very happy interchanged and rotated around um but I'm going to talk about number three right now, and that is Blizzard's approach to class design for Shadowlands. Mm. This is something that I'm very, very excited for. Mm -hmm. um, we know you are, honey. I'd say, I'd say it was in Warlords of Draenor. Oh, yeah? I think it was in was Warlords it? of Draenor. Was it uh, Warlords of Draenor? Where class design oh, yeah. really started to change. Oh, um, there's a lot of people God, out there that yeah. would say Miss Pandaria and Cataclysm were oh, probably Mr. the peak Pandaria, of World of Warcraft class design. Some people would say Wrath of the Lich King. Some people um, say my pants. I don't really have a horse you know. in that race. But what I do know for a fact is that in Warlords of Draenor and beyond, classes started to feel less archetypal. Okay. Meaning that... So I, I don't know. I don't know when it changed. If that's his opinion, that's great. You know, I don't really care when it changed but i agree that classes have lost their uniqueness they're no more and they don't feel unique um i love that in classic my rogue can pick locks it is the only class that can go around open up the lock chest boxes in the uh, dungeons they're the only ones in the game except for engineers that can create the item can open up lock boxes that people get from loot you know um other classes like druids are the only ones with intervate so they can get mana back up so they're really great support class you know paladins aren't the best at tanking but they're really good at healing and they aren't the best at DPS, but, you know, I do wish the DPS, was, I'm sure it was meant to be higher than it was, and it was just a class design failure, but I do like the uniqueness of all the classes and the talent tree of Classic, and I do feel like they removed a lot of those parts. Um, you know, there just really wasn't a lot of, um, how do I word this? It just wasn't, it was taken away. And it wasn't really thought out about how taking away certain designs of the classes would have impact the rest of the game. So I completely agree here. However, what I don't agree with is his excitement for what they're going to change to make it more unique. I don't see it doing it enough as classic has um, of a class design to make them unique again. Like what exactly are they going to do? I know for a fact they're adding in these new designs for Shadowlands that if you ch choose your side, which I've heard horrible stories about, Depending on what side you choose, there's like three or something or four. And whatever faction you decide to choose, you get a spell. This spell can be used within the game while you're questing. I hate that concept. I hate that idea. I don't want to feel pigeonholed to a uh, faction because of the spell. Because I'm the person who's going to look up what is the best loadout for my class or for my build. Is this going to do the best? Am I going to get the best, re like, uh, DPS? Am I going to be able to win in this PvP match because of this? And if this spell is going to decide that for for us, I'm not going to like that. I would much rather stay away from the new like outside factors and be more class. I don't want to have to be a faction. We already got two factions, Horde and Alliance. We don't need to go in and choose another faction. I don't know. I think they're, they're, they're trying a new design thing, and I'm not excited for it. So, I don't think it's going to be that great. So we'll see. Um, 
But yeah, class design, I'm a little worried about it. I get that he's all hyped up. Retail fans, I'm I'm more of an MMORPG fanatic. I don't really am a fanatic to just one game like World of Warcraft. So my sort of like excitement to retail is just not there. Um, and I honestly don't see myself go into a game like that because of these reasons. So let's go ahead and finish up the last two. That they no longer felt a couple of people out so, there that want covenants to be, I guess, more If you're a person that plays MMORPGs for the RPG element, that's all you. But this, again, is my video and it's my opinion. And I don't feel, I just, why are you playing the MMORPG for the RPG element? Who sits there and reads all the damn texts? I sure as hell don't. The only thing I'm watching as an RPG element of any MMORPG is the cinematics that they release. Or if there's a cinematic in the game for the quest. Otherwise, I am not going to sit there and read texts for like five hours straight because I just, because it's there. Honestly, MMORPGs are more meant for the MMO part and the RPG part is more so of building the character up. Um, you know, I think of RPG as like you have a character, you have different slots for your gear, and you have to get the gear for the slots. RPG mechanics, I I hope that they focus on what's important, which is building the classes and getting the gear in a way that feels satisfying. He talks here, well, let's listen. More freely swappable. Uh, because covenants come with certain raid abilities or just abilities in general that can be used in raids and people are worried about min maxing and having to pick a certain covenant in order to be you know not benched for your raid and stuff like that but ian said something really really interesting in his response and i'm just going to go ahead and play it right here and right now for you guys because i thought his response was pretty powerful okay we're about to watch his response. I did not think it was powerful. I think it's all fluff and they still, again, don't know what they're doing. He's literally talking about the RPG elements of the different covenants. Those are the covenants, the factions I was talking about before. I don't think it's gonna help and I hate the idea and the concept of it. So listen. Um, now, philosophy wise, I don't the like thing that we're talks. trying to defend here Ugh. and trying to, you know, trying to hold out for, frankly, is just meaningful frankly. choice. It's the, that core RPG sense of identity and we've heard feedback from players and i think that you know you who that guy points? sounds like he sounds like the dm that has like a dungeon masters like dungeon and dragons master who's like so anal about his game that if you give your opinion on it he's just gonna be like frankly i think you're wrong and it's gonna go my way just saying from his voice and the way he speaks but It's not going to work. It's like if you want players' choice, that's great, but that's not how all RPGs are. People think they want choices, and sometimes not having those choices or having less of those choices is a better option. Doing more isn't always better. And the factions, like I said, they already have a choice when they start the damn game: horde or alliance. You don't need to add additional factions because it's just muddling everything and you're turning it into a new game. Why not just quit this game and make a new one like I initially suggested? I get it, Tips Out. You want to believe in this developer. I do not. I do not think they what they're saying is really going to fix the fundamental issues of this game. Over the years, we asked the question of like, is WoW even an RPG anymore? Oh, okay. Anyway, you know my thoughts on this. I... A lot of these points are muddled together. And the last one, Titan Forging. You know what this is if you played retail. It's gone. Great. I agree. Don't bring that in. Don't ever bring that back. It was a bad idea. Adding more elements to be more. I feel like in retail, they added so many different parts and so many different things that you have to manage on the RPG mechanic level that it started becoming more frustrating than exciting. There needs to be enough frustration to make you want to do it but not so much that you feel overwhelmed and it becomes a chore and a job. So that's pretty much that's it. That's right. T he gets overexcited about Titan this. forging, corruption, and We're just any gonna, system I'm gonna show you how much he has left in this video. You know, he just keeps talking. My pants are staying till now. So, uh, no. He still talks. makes me really, really excited. He's very excited and about time before forging. before we go, guys, I do want to... I hope so Shadowlands... He keeps talking about it. Okay, great. That is my opinion. There's my video. Thank you for watching. Um... You know, again, just closing thoughts. I I really wish and I really would like to see 
more MMOs in general coming out and challenging World of Warcraft because World of Warcraft is the head, still the forefront of MMORPGs. But I mean, we've seen games like Guild Wars 2. We've seen games like Final Fantasy 14, which is doing great for people who love PVE and raiding. But I feel like there's such a lack of good content for PVP players. And WoW really does fulfill a lot of those PvP needs for me, but a game that always pops in my mind when I think of PvP MMORPGs is Lineage 2. And I would love to see, an, an, even if Blizzard is the people to do it, I don't care. Like, make a new game. I love World of Warcraft's lore and, like, idea and, like, world. If they could just remake the game and do a new version of it, I'd be happy with that. And... I would love more elements in the game where PvP and less instances forces players to interact with each other. I get people don't like PvP. I get that. There's games out there that are more designed for that. That's great. Um, but we're lacking on that aspect for people like me who really enjoy the political strife and drama and elements of a pvp centered MMORPG. So my problem here is that I just think they need to stop World of Warcraft and make a World of Warcraft 2, make a World of Warcraft, hey, this is a prequel or a sequel. Here, this is uh, World of Warcraft, let go, honey. Like, I don't care what they do. I just feel like they need to cut it off and just snip it, but I know they're not going to because it's such a big moneymaker. However, with the launch of Classic, I've heard great things about the numbers of Classic, and I feel like now that they're seeing that there's such a love for the Classic version, maybe this will inspire them to make a new version of World of Warcraft that hopefully one day they can launch and it's just completely different. Same world, same lore, same elements, but just a new version of the game. And so for me, I'm not so excited for Shadowlands. I can't wait for the cinematics. I'm really excited. I've been watching all of uh, Battle of Azeroth cinematics and been enjoying them a lot, but I am not touching the game. I am. I do, I feel zero need to log on to retail right now and to build up my character. I just... I know I'm going to sit in that game and be bored and buy myself for 90% of the game. Where on Classic right now, I'm playing with tons of players. I even started my own guild and I have so many people that I hang out with every single day. We're all helping each other quest. We're like helping each other level. I mean, just the other last night, I was in Hillsborough Foothills destroying some horde with my clan mates. And it was so much fun. I mean, this was made in 2004 and it's still great. So we'll see. Um, Again, I'm not harping too hard on Shadowlands people who are really excited for retail. Um, that's fine. Enjoy it. But I definitely want to give my reasons to maybe be a little bit more worried about what retail and Blizzard is expecting for Shadowlands. So this is my own opinion. And this is how I felt when I was watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, You know, give a comment. Even if you disagreed, give me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about what did you think about my points of his points of retail and classic. Um, give it, you know, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. I'm going to be making more uh, videos of video games that I can react to. Um, I love looking at other reviews of different games. Any video game material that I can react to, I will be making videos and more videos in the future. Honey, I've already seen this one, but I'm going to make sure the next time I get a video that I need to watch, I'll make sure that we're going to watch it together and you'll see my reactions. Because trust, when I first saw this video, honey, I was livid. I was livid. Again, follow, hit that subscribe button, comment below, hang out with me on Twitch. I'm also twitch.tv slash one Hope to see you around, guys. Have a good one. Bye.